Ocean City Insider Tour. I like Still in Ocean City. Insider. I'm, I'm loving that title. The Insider. <laughs> <laughs> the Resident Insider Tour Winter Edition. It is Christmas time. 2022. Ho ho ho. We're still in Ocean City. Today we are going to. Right now we're standing in the parking lot of Pacini's, or other people call it Pacini. Either way, it's good food. Yeah, if you're a Goomba, you say Pacini. Pacini. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're a Medagon, you say Pacini. All right. So we're here, and uh, is this a? It, it, the main thing is it's like open all year round. I guess it's easier, a little bit, e it's becoming a little easier to find things that are open year round because it more is. people are here during it the is. winter. Yes. But I mean, there was a time when this was a no man ghost, ghost town. Ghost, ghost town. town. Okay, totally deserted. But um, we're doing the winter version, so we're going to check out the cheese. That sounds good to me. All right, all right, all right. What have you had here before? Cheesesteaks, cheese pizza. Steaks. We had a pizza here from here Friday night. Okay, we're going to go cheesesteak up, hopefully. Yep. Maybe a hoagie. All right, maybe hope you see what happens. If this is your first time here. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, leave some comments, and join us inside at Pacini. Tell, tell a friend. Hi. Hi. How are Hi. you? Good. Good. Okay, very cool beans. We are at Piccini's. Uh, this is our stop to one of the many stops that we're bringing you from uh, Ocean City during the winter. Insider's Tour Winter Edition at Piccini's. Big shout out. People are really friendly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mimi, I, I want to say hostess with the mostess. Uh, Mike, uh, son, grew up here. Yep. But we're foregoing the uh, pizza today and we are going with, we're doing the cheesesteak. Uh, we'll, let's jump into that first because it's hot. Yep. Okay. The rolls, like the normals, are the Licios and the Amorosos most yeah, of the time. Standard fare. And this is Brando's yeah. from Atlantic City. Atlantic City. This was like Pop's favorite. They're really a different quality to it. You could even see. We talked about this before with the uh, cheesesteak eat on the porch. Yep. The happy spot. But with the penguins. Or not the penguins, the, the seagulls. <laughs> the flying penguins. <laughs> cheers, cheers. I gotta say, the, the roll elevates this. It elevates it. And I talked about the cheese a little bit. Mm -hmm. This was mixed in. And I think, even though you felt like you got cheese in every month, at the last at Randazzo's, it does make a difference. I mean, it gives it a different, I think it, it makes it moister. It adds to the total quality of every bite. And this was all mixed up to go in before it went into the roll. And it, makes for me makes such a difference and this is chip chopped as well hmm? chip chop <laughs> chip chop chip chop oh chip chop finely chopped <laughs> tasty juicy drippy yeah it is dripping for sure i think they've got this down they've been doing it since 1985 they've had a lot of practice <laughs> good stuff i think they're on to something <laughs> <laughs> good ratio. Uh, Very good. Thank fantastic. You. Thank you. And they're playing like Beach Boys in the background. So come on. Kind of warms things up a little bit. A little bit. Now, I just put my sandwich down for a second. But you know how you can tell a true South Philly Italian? They never put their sandwich down. But there's a reason for that. You can walk up the pads, order at the window, mm -hmm. and you'd have to hold the sandwich because there's no place to really. Well, they have picnic tables there now, but back in the day, there was no place to sit. You had to stand there and eat the sandwich. Yeah. There was no place to put it. So a true Italian never puts it, or a true South Philly Italian never puts their sandwich down. Or a true South Philly sandwich eater. There you go. But there's probably uh, one or two that aren't Italian. There's some interlopers. <laughs> <laughs> Chip chop interloper. I came prepared with stories today. <laughs> A little research. It's a good bite. Good cheesesteak. Mm -hmm. Me thinks. I've had more pack, but it's not about the pack. We've talked about that yeah. before as well. I like this one better. Like the last one we had was good. This one's a step above. 
starting with the roll. Uh huh. Try to stay out of here as much as I can. Keep everybody on yeah, their toes. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so we're at Patini's, and this is totally Cody. Cody. Yep. Right. Yep. And it's the owner of a wonderful hospitality. First of all, your staff, Mike, your son, thank fantastic. You. Thank you, people. thank you. Yep. Mimi met us with a big smile. She's a doll. Santa Claus had a big smile. Yeah, she's awesome. When we came in. Well, maybe you can tell me a little bit about the restaurant, about uh, how you got started. Well, we've been here 27 years. Uh, I did not start it. My wife and I did not start it. We actually own a bicycle business on the boardwalk right down the street at 13th Street. Okay. And every day we would see the owner of the team come ride by. Okay. And we would commiserate about how business was, was good, bad, whatever. We became friendly with him. And one time I said to him, if you ever decide to sell, talk to me first. And six or seven years ago he said, I'm getting close. I've had enough. And uh, he said, are you serious? I said, yeah, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. And here we are, five years later. We've we, we been going for five so, years. Yeah, so we love the product. I think it was, it was really excellent. And uh, thank you for staying alive during the winter time. Yeah, and thanks. Keeping everybody happy. So we're also on the boardwalk. We have a traditional boardwalk pizza place called Angelo's, okay. right next to our bike place at 13th Street. And our newest venture is actually 70 years old. My wife is a Diorio. Okay. And her father was Joe DiOrio, who started Joe DiOrio's Circle Cafe in Summers Boy, okay. the first liquor license outside of Ocean City. Just over the bridge. On Just Ninth over Street. the bridge, okay. Ninth Street Bridge to the left, right behind the diner. Started it in 1950. His son took over in 83, and he just retired, and we took his place. So we closed it. Sounds the like Monopoly to me. Well, you just like, yeah. you've got the boardwalk to cry. Thanks for so much for sharing your story. You're having a time. Real pleasure. Love having you. And I uh, hope Thanks. to see you again. Lunch is on Michael. That's what he told me. Did he? That's what he told me. I'm gonna make him. I'm gonna make him keep keep his word. <laughs> Thank you very much for Thank your you hospitality. So much. Really appreciate well, welcome it. Welcome to Ocean City. I had an opportunity to meet Tony, the owner. Great history, nice story. And you were just saying he's a new YouTube fan. Oh, I love this. I'm having a ball. This because. Is well, number one, I love to talk to people, but I would never really get to know these people under normal circumstances, so this is great. And it's just really, you know, I love to know the local business owners in my town and the people that I, I do business with, and I mean, I'll support them more and I'll send more business their way, and it's, I'm, I'm big on, on shopping local. So, it's time to dig in. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm eyeballing that, that great cheesesteak, good stuff. Oh, we have some nice options here, actually. Yeah. We've got, like, the good again. Which is good to gain, like yeah. I think <laughs> we had this conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you don't, if you know, yeah, you know. If you know, if you, you know. know. It's just like <laughs> it's a good to gain. I can't even tell you. So. Thanks again, fellas. All right, nice Thanks meeting you. Look forward to seeing you again. Okay, we got the provolone in there, and that's a good. Uh, it's got a little bite? bite to it. Oh, this is mortadella. Yeah, there's mortadella too. Damn, that's so I'm liking so all the flavors. You got it good. Yeah, yeah. So do we got salami in there also? Yeah. So we have a nice pack sandwich. Yeah. Okay. That's a good bite. He likes this one. Mm -hmm. I feel like a kid again. Like this is the flavor of my youth. In what way? When we lived in Smedley Street in Philly. Yeah. No. And Dad would go out golfing with Uncle Chick and whomever else. Maybe you sometimes. I don't know if you were with them. Okay. And then they'd always stop at the the deli on okay. the way home, bring back lunch meat and dad and rolls. Okay. 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 After the round of golf. And, that was my, that was one of my favorite memories from you. And yeah. Dad's hoagies are like, and it's just that combination. They're, they're really fresh. Just cut. Yeah. I mean, I used to even just like the thinly sliced like ham, bologna, cheese, mayo, killer stuff. Yep. Yeah. Great ingredients. The roll, the foundation, the Rando's roll, like we had at Bill Tacos during the summer. Don't get it that often. Good foundation for this beautiful sandwich. This is better than a cheesesteak, in my opinion. Everything is really fresh. Yeah, from the lunch meat, fresh even, lunch meat. Even the, the vegetables. The, the onions are nice and crisp. And it's like a it's like a Vidalia onion or something. It's not really a strong, strong onion. Great flavor. Pure Pacini's. Great hoagie. Good steak. Wood-fired oven. You know the pizza. Mm -hmm. Had it last Friday. Could you tell us about the pizza? Pizza's really good, the sauce is really good. I don't know if they make it themselves or like have it made for them, but um, it's a good slice. It's not soggy, you pick it up, it stays flat. 
foldable, easy to eat. Not too much cheese, just the right amount. You know, some people they put cheese on it and it's just like, yeah. So you they can kill it. Yeah, they got to it. They know how to make a good pie. Thumbs up. Thumbs Double up. thumbs up Two for me up. for Puccini's. Great folks, great story, hospitality. Really going going the extra mile being here during the winter time. Great addition to our uh, insider tour, yeah. winter winter version. So let's hear it for Puccini's if you're down here. Come on down here anyway, come to Puccini's. Say hi to Mimi. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and join us on our continuing adventures here in Ocean City and on the East Coast. And don't forget to tell a friend. Tell a friend. Here, my friend. Brothers, friends, yeah, we're, yeah. Go to Puccini's. Go to Puccini's. <laughs>